What's up, nerds? Scott Solo coming at you from the Sarlacc Digest podcast with another one-minute toy review or so. Today, we're going to review Masters of the Universe Revelations of Beast Man. Check out Beast Man from Masters of the Universe Revelations. What a cool figure. Great articulation, double articulated elbows and knees. He's got this really cool articulation in his calves and his uh, ankles and his wrists and everything. He's got all these extra hands, two fists, two, oh, well, one kind of slashy hand and the other one to hold his whip. He does come with a really cool looking whip. Uh, the design of the character, if you ask me my humble opinion, is so far superior to the original version of the character. I just like this whole hulking, uh, just brute of a character. He's really cool looking. Um, he does have a spot right there where you can place his whip, which is really awesome. Um, great articulation, great sculpt, great face sculpt too. Um, he is the one figure, if you haven't watched, not going to do too much of a spoiler, but season two, season one, part two of Revelations, his character really needed a nice postscript. I think he was probably one of the most mistreated characters by way of Skeletor and Evil Lynn, I think he really needed a nice postscript and a happy ending or something. I don't know. He was probably the most sympathetic character in the whole villain side right next to Evil Lynn. That's it for now. Stay tuned next time whenever I review another Star Wars toy. It's weird. They're coming out of the woodwork now. I must have said something. Anyway, thanks a lot, everybody, and keep it nerdy.